Hey there, this is Angel from Insight VR. This video will show you how to enhance your Inscape workflow with Insight VR. To get started, open Inscape and navigate to the area you'd like to render. Then in your Revit ribbon, let's change some settings. First, we'll change the rendering quality to Ultra. Then change the resolution to 4K. This will ensure a high quality rendering once you're in VR. You can always come back and lower these settings if your computer can't handle them in real time. Now click the panorama button and click take panorama. Inscape will start taking a 360 degree image. Once it's done, click the panorama button again and click my panoramas. Here you can see a library of all your images. Select the one you just took and click the Save button. Then save it to a location on your computer. Once saved, your image is ready for uploading to Insight VR. Go to your Insight VR project, click Add 360 Image, and upload the file you just saved. Once uploaded, your Inkscape rendering is ready to view on a cardboard device, on a regular mobile device, or even on a Gear VR. With Insight VR, you can stream and control what's being seen in your Gear VR from your desktop. Here you can see a combination of a full Revit model in the Gear VR and an Inkscape 360 rendering. This is a great way to explore your 3D model on a mobile device like the Gear VR without sacrificing photorealism. Our web-based viewer allows you to share these 360 images with clients or colleagues via text message or with a simple link. You can also add hotspots to create tours with 360 images and annotations to record feedback. You can also use the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive for combined virtual reality experiences that use 360 photorealistic content and full 3D models from Revit. We hope this demonstration shows you how you can enhance your Inkscape workflow with Insight VR. Thanks for watching.